Good morning. Good morning, Group A from our Room 7 class. It was really, really good to see you at school yesterday. So um, this is your very first day of remote learning. And this is going to take a little bit of getting used to because you have no Zoom classes today, apart from specialist. So you will be doing this work that's assigned to you just on your own. And to help you out, I have added a little schedule um, to help you if you're, you just think that would be useful to watch your time today. So if you start from our homepage, you can click on this week's activities. And you can see this week, week one, April 12th through 16th. Monday, you were at school. You're going to scroll down to Tuesday and you can see group A is remote. That's you, group A remote. If you click on that, you will see it's Tuesday. And here is a list of things that you need to do today. And we talked over this a little bit at school today, but this is just a refresher. You need to watch this morning message, which you're doing. You need to do some I ready math, independent reading for 20 minutes, I ready reading. You need to do the writing prompt that is here on the um, canvas for you. And you need to fill out the cause and effect cards, the slides, like what we did today, um, today with fact and opinion. But the most important thing in terms of time is that you make it to PE today. And that is at 10 past 11. So set a timer, ask someone at home to help you remember, because you need to be responsible to sign into your Zoom and Canvas PE class at 10 past 11 today. Now, if it's helpful for you, you can just do these in whatever order you like, but you do have to make PE at 10 past 11. But if you want something to help you kind of stick to a schedule, I have put one in here. So watch morning message should take about 10 minutes. At 10 o'clock or around about then, I ready math should take about 20 minutes. After that, I ready reading and um, independent reading, 20 minutes each. Got PE at 10 past 11. 11, take a lunch break after that, and then you can work on the writing prompt and the cause and effect slides. After that, the end of the day, you can go back and complete any unfinished work. So there's just a general guideline of times if you want to use those to help you keep track. It doesn't matter if you do or if you don't, just if it's helpful for you. So you can click through the next, use the next button to get to the next thing, or you can go back to modules and just click on to the next activity. I'm going to click next. And it's the morning message and you should be watching this morning message first, okay? Because this video will turn up here. Then next is I ready math. And so you need to go to clever and click on the clever button and then go to I ready. So if you're not sure how to do that, remember that on our homepage, you can click on the clever button which will take you to sign into Clever. And you can get to iReady just on that main page. If you scroll down, you will find iReady, okay? And it will transfer everything that was on your iReady page from earlier this year, okay? So you'll have lessons there to work on. Then come back and type done in the text box here to show me that you're done. After that, let's click next and independent reading. You're going to read for 20 minutes and then come back here onto Canvas and um, submit a little video telling me what you read and what happened and what you read. What Was it a story? Was it nonfiction? Tell me just a short little couple of sentences about what you read, what the name of the book was. Um, if you don't have a book at home to read, you can read from the Digital Classroom Library, which is also on Clever. Remember that digital classroom library, you can click on fourth grade and open up the fourth grade library. And you can also, on Clever, you can click on Epic. And Epic, if you go to my page, Mrs. Schofield's page, you will find Epic there and there is a class code there to help you sign in. Okay, so that will be there for you to find something to read. Okay. Next, you're going to go back to iReady and you're going to do reading this time instead of math and then come back and type done in the text box. Make sure on iReady you are doing a good 20 minutes both on math and on reading 
because I open I ready and I can see how many minutes you spent on each thing. So I would really like you to spend a good 20 minutes on both every day, okay? Um, and don't forget you have PE at 10 after 11 and you might take a lunch break, that's fine. Today we worked on fact and opinion. Um, I mean, on Monday, we worked on fact and opinion slides. And today you're gonna work on cause and effect. And we talked through this a little bit at school about typing, click on the box and type in a cause for Earth Day and an effect. What would be an effect for Earth Day? What would be a cause of the first, what's the cause, the first Webster's Dictionary being published? What would the effect be? Okay, so we talked through these four slides. Have a go at those and then submit. And there was one other thing on our schedule for today, I think. Let me just check. The writing prompt. There is a writing prompt for you to do also. So there will be in Canvas a writing prompt for you to click on. It will look like this. And it will be a Google Doc. And you will click on it to open it up. And you can see on the instructions that you are either going to type straight on this Google Doc, or if you want to write in your writing journal, you can. But then you'll insert a picture of your writing journal. How did you feel about returning to school? For you, it's going to be, how was your first day back? So take some time, tell me about your first day back. Was it what you expected? What was the same? What was different? What did you like? What didn't you like? What was, um, how are you feeling about coming back to school on Thursday? Tell me all about your first day back. So you can just click here and start typing. Um, um, you can start typing your work here. If you prefer to write in your writing journal and take a photo, remember it's just the same as all the other assignments we've done in Mrs. Wade and Mrs. Williams in my class. You go up to insert, image, camera, and then you would hold up a picture of your writing. I've got a paper here. Hold up a picture of your writing, click the little camera picture, and then insert and it will appear in your um, page here. Okay, so you've got two options, type straight on or take a picture of what you wrote somewhere else. Then of course you would go back and click submit up here. So that's your writing prompt for today. Okay, I think that sounds like a pretty good full day's work. So if you can get through all of that today, that would be great. I will be looking at that on Wednesday and I'm um, going over that and grading that for you um, tonight and Wednesday. So if you have any questions or any problems, feel free to email me. You can do that through the inbox on um, Canvas and on the homepage. Remember, there's a contact your teacher. So you can click on that and that will open an email for me. Okay. All right, my friends, enjoy your first remote day. See you later.